2019. What an interesting year it's been for me. I can certainly say that this year has been filled with some of the best moments, some of my favourite moments of my life, and some moments that I will cherish forever. Like all parts of life, it's filled with its ups and downs. What happened in my 2019? So we kick off the new year, and little did I know that this was going to be the best thing that had happened to me in a while. Uh, my long relationship with my ex-girlfriend had broke off. I didn't upload a single video, I didn't really do much apart from go to my job that I was very unhappy with at the time. It was a large mental barrier that I had to get over, but through the month of January I didn't really do much at all. And during that period, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. Eventually, things started to get better. Through up until about the time of my birthday, which is right in the middle of the year, 31st of May, I was uploading shit content. I did nothing that was really good for me. This was the year I told myself, I'm really going to push for this YouTube thing, because I didn't go to uni, which I kind of regret in some sense, but I never really knew what subject to apply for. So... There's always that, but I really, really wanted to push this YouTube thing to a next level, but then I just couldn't do it. I felt like I couldn't do it for some reason, and that is the reason for the shit content, and I, weren't, I wasn't even proud of it either. I just put content out for the sake of putting content out, and I didn't really think it through. I didn't really edit it well, and I didn't really find enjoyment from watching it anyway. Whereas you compare it to a video that I've made, let's say, the forfeit smash video with my really good friend. And that, that video was really fun to record, it was really fun to edit, and I really enjoyed watching it back. So it's like, I know I could have done better, but for some reason I didn't. Everything had just started to decline because of my own actions. I was in a deep rut, and I didn't know how to get out of it. Days got longer, they got more boring. I didn't really feel much throughout those days, I was just getting up, not doing a lot, going to work, coming back, and just repeating the same cycle. After that day, things started to pick up. And this is where the good part comes in. This is all the good stuff. This is all the stuff that I will love and cherish forever. And this is all the stuff, all the good stuff that I got up to this year. So this is all the good stuff I got up to in 2019. I did the Chris MD one football challenge to rule them all because I'm a fanboy. Got to re-watch what was the best moment of my life at the time, my boxing match. I started to learn guitar. I missed my mate's MMA fight by about five minutes. I hit three years on the channel. I did the Reddit 50-50 challenge. I did a setup tour. I turned 19. The next day I went to the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for the first time which was one of the best experiences for my life for the screening of the Champions League final. Passed my driving test three days later. This moment is definitely one that I'm gonna remember forever because it is definitely one of the best days of my life. My YouTube idol, my inspiration, Chris MD, had come to my house as part of a video that he was making. Surprising fans and driving them round in his new Audi R8 car. I was one of those people selected and I'm just gonna let the clip roll. Honestly, I can't put into words how much this meant to me and it was genuinely something that I'm never gonna forget. Runs his own YouTube channel and uh, was like all set up expecting one of his mates to come round and record a video with him. Hi there. Oh shit. Just looking for... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Hello, mate. How's it going? Oh my god! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I, uh, this is such a shock. <laughs> <laughs> Went into the new Spurs shop for the first time. Watched Spurs versus Inter in pre-season, only for us to lose on penalties. But what a penalty this is! Got a brand new tracksuit, which is my favourite item of clothing that I own today. Try to eat a hundred chicken nuggets. I was featured in a Chris MD video. I hit 1,000 subscribers. Then had my ego knocked down by Reddit roast me. This is the video I was meant to film the day Chris MD came with my best mate, who was responsible for Chris coming, and it didn't end well. Did my very first Q&A. Got to watch Spurs destroy Crystal Palace in a 4-0 win at home. I hit 2,000 subscribers. Made a video with a professional kickboxer. Went to my first MMA event live in Brighton. Watched one of my other best mates win an MMA fight. Went ice skating with my brother on Christmas. And there's so much more that I didn't capture. 
but I still got to enjoy. Throughout all of this happening, I have learned a lot about myself, about the people around me. Some of the lessons that I've learned is that perseverance is probably the most important part. Doesn't matter how many times you feel bad, how many times you get knocked down, you can't let a minor setback hinder your progress and you can't let it stop you from doing the things that you want to do. I've learned the value of friends even more so. I've discovered how important they really are in my life because without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. The case goes with my family as well. They're always there, they're always behind me. Whether it's my brothers, regardless. They've been in my videos. One even has his own YouTube channel. My parents are always there. I've always got a roof over my head. I've always got a nice home cooked meal to come back to after work. If I come home from being out with my friends, I've got everything I need right now. My job, I've learned the value of appreciating that I've actually got an income. Without that, I wouldn't have been able to uh, buy any of the equipment that I've got, the camera, the monitors, my computer, which I put together myself. The amount of support I've received from all of you viewers has been tremendous. It's been more than I've ever dreamed of. 12 year old me would never have imagined me actually getting over 2,000 subscribers and that day with Chris MD being on his channel and him coming to my house and driving around with him I'd honestly do anything to get that day again because that day was genuinely one of the best days of my life and that was the real turning point not just in terms of YouTube but as a mindset because I realized that if I do put my mind to my dreams if I do have a goal if I do have an inspiration if I aspire to do something it it's possible doesn't matter how but it is possible if you put everything you can into it it will work out and i believe that 2020 will be the year that i finally am able to make this work out i'm able to better myself i'm able to better the channel the content and just improve everything as a whole the first half of this year has definitely been one of the lesser periods of my life however the stuff that i've been able to do in the last period of this year in the second half of this year has certainly made up for the lack of stuff that I have been doing in the first half of this year. Everything that has happened this year has made me realise that life is a gift and it should not be wasted. I can certainly say without a doubt about my friends, my family, the support of your viewers, anyone who's liked the video, subscribed, clicked on the video, DM'd me, telling me like they enjoy my content, that like they like me as a person, like they just enjoy what I'm about and stuff. I, I genuinely wouldn't be where I am today. Yeah, I know there's no cinematic shots, no fancy lights, no fancy scenery, none of that kind of stuff, but it's a video where I just want to sit down, reflect on the year that's gone, and be thankful for everything that's happened, because it's happened for a reason, and I'm glad it's happened, because it's shaped me into the person that I am at the end of this year and I look forward to going into 2020. I'm planning on making this year massive, so if you are new, do subscribe, and obviously if you are about, still, thank you so much for watching this far. Do leave a like, because it is appreciated, and just enjoy this little compilation of my favorite moments from this year, from my videos that I've uploaded on the channel. The support has been amazing, and I couldn't wish for anything more, so thank you so much, and yeah. My name's Brooke, and I'll see you later. I'm way better than I make it get out to be in the video right now. Uh, I don't know what to do. Number one. I'm now on the road. If you ever see me, say hello. Come on. It's my setup. So.
can't eat that squash bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a Q&A. This was meant to be my 1,000 subscriber Q&A. Today is the three year anniversary of the first video that I uploaded. That first video was the FIFA 16 Gold Cup run. Yeah, it's been three years since I uploaded my first video. Unreal. Yes! Oh my god! It's it's done! Yes! I don't know if you can hear me, but. This is uh, probably the best day of my life. We've just been in a, some pub, jumping about. 